The next group just sat down on the roller coaster and they buckled their seatbelts. The carny preps the roller coaster and with a switch of a button, it begins moving quickly. Whoa, look how fast it's going. My eyes can't even keep up. Man, it looks so cool. Oh look, there's a loop over there. They're going to hit that curve with lightning speed. The coaster reaches the top. In a sudden jerk, the ride gets intense. Turns up, down, right and left. With the sudden movements, people start getting dizzy and nauseous. Everything is fun until tragedy strikes. As the ride reaches the top of the loop, it freezes in place. The people are stuck upside down. Oh my goodness! Suddenly, the seat belts start to loosen. One by one, the people begin to fall from the coaster to the hard concrete ground hundreds of feet below them. Tony and Troy are at home, sitting bored. Tony gets a notification saying the carnival has returned to the city. I remember the last time we went to the carnival. It was so much fun. Yeah, you know what would be even more fun? You, me, Austin, Jason, Kat, and Rick going to the carnival. Just like old times. What do you say? Hell yes, that'd be awesome. I'm so excited. I'm telling everyone. Tony and Troy arrive at the carnival. They are amazed by all the new additions and rides at the fair. Tony sees Kat in the distance. She waves at her and she waves back. Kat, oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. You too, it's been so long. Yes, it has. You look different. Did you get a new hairstyle? Yeah, I did. Hey guys, couldn't you wait for me? Hey Rick. How you doing? It's been a while, man. Have you lost some weight? As a matter of fact, I have. Austin and Jason couldn't make it, but I guess it's their loss because this carnival looks sick. Oh, I remember that ride. As a kid, I used to go on it all the time. Oh, that one? Aren't you a bit too old for that now? I mean, it's for kindergartners. So, what do you guys think we should start with? Well, we could start with a ravaging roller. I've always wanted to try that beast. That sounds like a great idea. Let's go. Everyone goes to the ride, but notices a long line. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. We have to wait forever to try this out? Well, that probably means the ride must be pretty sick. You know, I've heard rumors that in this carnival, no two rides are always the same. There is always something different each time you take a trip. Whoa, that sounds cool. I've heard that every single carny in this place is an independent worker. All of them are competing to make the best ride possible to impress the owner. I guess that's why all the rides are so different. Well, how about you boys hold our place in the line while we go get some snacks? All right. Tony and Cab break away from the line while Rick and Troy hold their place. You didn't mean to get any snacks, did you? Of course not. Let's have some fun while the line goes forward. I'm too scared to go on it anyways, so I'll just watch you guys from the side. Fair enough. Rick and Troy are waiting in the line. Man, this is taking forever. I feel like I'm gonna die in this line. Don't be like that, young man. The line's always big. The wait is always worth it. You can trust me on that. Oh, really? How do you know? Well, I'm the owner of this carnival, and the Ravaging Roller is our best ride. Pleased to meet you, sir. I'm Rick. Well, I'm glad you boys came here. Have fun, Rick. The owner walks away, and the boys are impressed by how humble he was. Meanwhile, the girls are hanging out in the carnival. So, Spill, what's this I'm hearing about you going out with someone? Have you started dating? Dating? Me? Nah, no, of course not. Um, who told you that? Oh, come on, Tony. I've known you for so long. I can tell when you're hiding something from me or lying. So talk. Tony pretends she didn't hear anything and ignores her. So what's he like? Is he cute? Why do you like his hair? 
I don't like his hair that much. Wait, how'd you know that? Cat giggles and teases her. I didn't, but I do now. <laughs> so that confirms it. You're dating someone, and he has cool hair. You can't outsmart me, girl. Please keep this under wraps. I haven't told anyone. Troy doesn't know either, and I don't want to tell him right now. It's okay. Your secret's safe with me. <sighs> For ten bucks? Cut it out. Don't be such a jerk. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Tony and Kat enjoy plenty of small rides, while Rick and Troy are waiting in line. They soon show up with some popcorn and snacks for the boys. That took you long enough. Well, the roller coaster is starting. Hand me the popcorn. Rick grabs the popcorn and shares it with Troy. The two look on as the roller coaster goes up and down the track. The ride suddenly stops in midair, and the people are held upside down. Whoa! The ride stopped. That looks cool. I've heard about this. The roller coaster sometimes stops randomly in the air for a few seconds. It makes every experience so unique. Wow, that does sound ingenious. Look, it started again. Yo, this is so cool. I can't wait to get on the ride. I'm getting so hyped. It stopped again. Man, this is great. Wait. Why hasn't it started back on yet? The roller coaster was stopped in midair. It usually does that for a few seconds, but this time it wasn't starting back on. Give it a few seconds. I'm sure it'll start moving right now. A few seconds have passed by, and nothing happened. Those people are suspended in the air, upside down, all the way up there. This is not okay. I don't like the looks of it either. Maybe this is a bit long, but chill, guys. They must be doing something. A man slowly starts moving in the coaster. His seatbelt loosens, and he starts hanging upside down. Suddenly, he loses his grip and falls from the coaster all the way onto the concrete ground below, with the blood splattering everywhere. <coughs> Everyone starts screaming. The belts start to loosen up on other passengers as well, and they begin to fall to their deaths. Somebody please stop this! This is horrible! In a few minutes, all of the passengers in the roller coaster fell to the ground and tragically died. The ride was shut down immediately, and the carnival was closed down. Hey Troy! I was thinking if you want to go to the carnival again with me. I was so mad yesterday that we had to wait for so long in that darned line and got to do nothing. Yeah, me too. I am not sure I want to go back after what happened yesterday. But are you sure the place is opened? Well, let's go check it out. I'm sure all the other rides must be fine. Troy and Rick go to the carnival that day. All of the rides were closed and blocked off. You gotta be kidding me! This must be a joke. First, I get nothing on the first day. Then we arrive here today, and there's nothing again? This is ridiculous. Yeah, I thought they'd maybe open the other rides, but I guess not. Man, that ravaging roller looks so cool now that I see it up close. Yeah, it does. I wish we could have at least tried it. Hey, what are you doing? I'm sitting in the coaster. It's out of operation, so it won't start anyway. At least let me sit in it. I didn't come all this way for nothing. Rick sits inside the comfy seats in the roller coaster. Come on, Troy. It's pretty great in here. I don't know. This doesn't seem like a good idea. Oh, come on. Grow up. No one's looking. Just sit here for a moment. Troy joins him in the coaster, and the two buckle their seatbelts. Now close your eyes and imagine you're riding the coaster. Troy closes his eyes and imagines the scene. Whoa, I can see it. I can even feel it. The coaster starts to slowly move. This feels so real and amazing. Troy, can you feel that too? It's almost as if... Rick opens his eyes and realizes the roller coaster is actually moving. Uh-oh. This is really happening. 
The roller coaster has started, and we're going straight to our doom. The coaster is moving very fast. Troy and Rick are terrified. Oh gosh, I don't want to die so early. I have so much to do in life, dang it. Why did I save the chili dogs for after this trip? Seriously? We're on a death roller coaster, and you're concerned that you didn't get a chance to eat chili dogs? Hey, those are really good. One bite, and you'll... There's the loop ahead, Troy. The place where the ride stopped last time. Not like this. No. Someone help! We're all gonna die! Rick and Troy closed their eyes, and the ride went through the loop without stopping. They look at each other in fear, as they were expecting the coaster to fail any time. <sighs> okay, if I don't make it out of this, promise me you'll take care of Tony, okay? Alright, if I don't make it out of this, promise me you'll tell Austin that I was the one who clogged his toilet yesterday. Troy immediately turns his head to Rick and eyes him disappointedly. Really, dude? Rick shrugs his shoulders. Both of them look ahead and see that the ride is almost over. The coaster reaches the entrance and stops. Rick and Troy unfasten their seatbelts and jump out of the ride. Uh, I don't... I don't feel so good. <coughs> Rick pukes all over the ground. Disgusting! I swear I'm never going on a ride with you again. Troy walks out in the open and sees someone next to the coaster's operating machine. The carny immediately panics and begins running away. Hey you! You're the one who started the coaster, didn't you? Get back here! Hey! Stop running! Come on, Rick. Let's go! Rick is still puking and doesn't respond to Troy. Fine. Just don't pass out or something. I'll be back. Troy begins chasing the man who is running away from him. Luckily, he doesn't move too fast. Troy quickly catches up and tackles him to the ground. Hey, I recognize you. You're the carny who runs the ravaging roller. Now talk. Why were you trying to kill us? I ain't telling you nothing, punk. Get away from me. The carny tries to get back up, but Troy hurts his arm. You sure about that? You can't run away from this. I have you pinned down. Ugh. So what? You have nothing to threaten me with, boy. Rick finally catches up and reaches Troy. Hey, Rick. Help me out here, man. This guy isn't talking. Rick looks very sick and doesn't even understand what Troy is saying. Oh, so you got a friend who's so sick he can't even hear you. I'm so terrified of you guys. What am I going to do? Shut up. Rick slowly comes close to Troy and the carny. Hey, he doesn't look so good. Maybe you should. Rick pukes all over the carny. Oh gosh, get him off of me. Stop. Make him stop. Keep going, Rick. Now talk. Why were you trying to kill us? Okay, okay, I'll talk. Just make him stop. Troy motions Rick and he stops puking. I wasn't trying to kill you or anything. I just wanted to check if the ride was safe and okay, so I can start it back up again. Safe my butt? Your ride costs the lives of so many innocent people. You play around with it, stopping it whenever you want as if it's a toy. It's not that simple. I have to. If I don't do it, people won't get on the ride again. Why is making people get on the ride so important to you? I get you're trying to impress the owner, but this is too much. You're playing with people's safety. The carny looks around as if he is afraid someone might be watching. I've told you enough. Now let me go. We're not done here. I can have my friends squeeze out more information from you if I want to. Please, I can't tell you anymore. I'll get fired and lose my job. Troy looks at the carny and his expression seemed like he was telling the truth. So how do we solve this mess? 
I can't in good conscience let you roam free after what you pulled. You almost killed us. Now talk. The carny again looks around to make sure no one is around. He then whispers slowly, The owner, the owner of the park, he's the real mastermind. If you can find and pin evidence on him, everything will be solved. Oh, that's an easy scapegoat for you, isn't it? We've met the owner and he's a very nice man. You should be ashamed of accusing anyone of your crimes. Calm down, calm down. I know it doesn't look like it, but he's behind everything. If you know all about it, then why don't you just tell us what's going on? I can't. It's not only about my job. He has stuff on me, on all of us. He has ways to blackmail us if we ever turn him in. You'll have to do this on your own. I have already said too much. Now, please let me go. Troy looks at the carney's face and believes him. All right. Troy lets go of the carney. He gets up and is disgusted by the puke that's covered his shirt. He immediately runs off. Why'd you let him go? I felt sorry for the guy. He wasn't going to tell us anymore. Besides that, there's a big plot in play here, and we need to figure out what it is before anything else bad happens. Rick has gotten a lot better and is now almost normal. What's gotten into you, Troy? You've been like this for hours. Hmm, I'm thinking. The carney mentioned us. That would mean the owner has leverage over all of the carnies. He blackmails them into doing something that is probably not legal. But what could that be? Maybe make them change the rides and become more extreme? Yes, I thought that at first as well. But this has reached murder. What could the owner possibly have on all of the carnies that would make them commit murder? Uh, I don't know. Maybe some embarrassing photos. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. Also, I'm not sure if that's enough for someone to be willing to commit murder and still keep going. He wanted to reopen the ride and even used us as a test subject. I looked straight at his eyes. That carny looked like an honest man and no honest person would be willing to go that far. Well, that is the million dollar question. So, what do we do? I got it. I have a great idea. If there's one person who can solve all of this, it's the owner. Oh, and you think you'll make him confess? I am not puking on anyone else. No, but I have a better plan. I can't believe you convinced me into this. This is the stupidest plan I've heard. I didn't want to bring the girls into this, so you're my only choice. So, what's with all this fancy stuff? Well, we'll meet the owner and pretend to be investing in the carnival. Hopefully, these fancy clothes will make him think we're rich and legit. You just keep quiet and let me do the talking. So, you expect some rich people to make him confess of his crimes? Just trust me on this, alright? Troy and Rick head over to the carnival. They knock on the owner's office and go inside. The owner is on a phone call and tells them to have a seat. He glances at Rick and then Troy. He then glances at Rick once again and stares at him while talking on the phone. Troy and Rick sit down nervously. The owner continues to stare at Rick. I don't think this is working, Troy. He's on to me. I say we run for it while we still have the chance. Just keep it together. The owner puts down the receiver on his telephone and turns his attention towards them. So, how can I help you, fine gentlemen? I'm guessing you're here for something important? Uh, yes. My brother and I are here to discuss something we've had in mind with you, sir. <laughs> Troy glances angrily at Rick, then gets back to the owner. Okay, so we've gone back and forth a lot, and we've decided that we want to invest in this carnival. We did see the unfortunate news recently, but I've had my eyes on the carnival for a long time, and I know. The owner continues to eye Rick suspiciously, and he begins sweating. Is there a problem, sir? Have I seen you before somewhere, sir? Um, 
Well, I, uh... Oh my gosh, I figured it out. You're him, aren't you? You thought you could get away, but I figured it out. You're Rick. You're Rick Arthur, the famous actor on TV. I am a huge fan. The owner comes over and shakes Rick's hand. Yes, of course. Yes, that's me. I am Rick. Uh, Arthur. Yes. I can't believe it. Rick Arthur wants to invest and buy my carnival? This is amazing. Troy figured out the owner was already impressed, so he began his plan to ask for details about the carnival and all the carnies. Soon enough, the owner provided the files for all the employees and carnies. Thank you very much, sir. You'll be hearing from us very soon. I would love that. Goodbye. Troy and Rick arrive at home. Tony and Kat were already watching TV and burst out into laughter seeing the two. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. We look a little stupid. A little would be an understatement. Whatever. We got what we wanted. The owner gave us all the files of the employees, so we could investigate them one by one and I can get a confession out of the owner as well as if he is guilty. Wait, how? I dropped a recording device under his desk. I can hear whatever he says in his office that way. If he does anything suspicious, we'll have all the evidence we need. Whoa, how'd you guys pull all this? It was my sneaky social skills. Yeah, right. Your legs were shaking every time he said your name. Don't be such a jerk. Come on, let's get to work. We'll go over all these files. Everyone narrows down the details of the data. Hey, there's something weird. All the employees have their family members highlighted. What's with that? I don't know. Maybe... Suddenly, the recording device starts receiving audio. Everyone gathers around to listen closely. Hey, boss. You know Andy, the ravaging roller carny? Yeah, what about him? He was testing the ride today. Huh, he's a good boy. But that's not it, sir. After the ride, some boys jumped on him and began shouting at him. It seemed like he didn't say anything and ran away. What? You sure he didn't say anything? Seemed like it. I couldn't hear them, though. This is ridiculous. He's not stupid enough to betray me. I run this place. That's it. Go over to his house when he's not home and drop a letter. Remind him that he better stay in line or else we'll come for his wife and kids. You sure, boss? Yeah. You know what? Send a letter to all the Carney's homes. Remind them to be cautious from now on. No one is off limits. Family, friends, whatever you can threaten. I run this show. And I will do anything to keep the money coming. Got it? Okay, boss. Everyone is silent after discovering the true nature of the owner. What do we do now? I got it. I know how we can fix all of this. Tony, Troy, Rick, and Kat split up and go to each of the Carney's homes. They watch out for the worker and wait for him to drop the letter. Once he does, they collect it and gather all the evidence. Once all the threats are gathered, they gather all the carnies and go to the police. They gather the carnies and let them know what happens. They stand up to the owner and with the overwhelming amount of evidence and testimony behind them, the owner was arrested for murder. The carnies decided to take over the carnival and paid restitution to all the people who lost their lives. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe 